good day everyone so I'm going to make this video um, in light of someone another channel um, Glenn from Flat Earth Vancouver BC he made a video against us over some comments over myself I should say I handle the YouTube side Todd actually handles uh, our social media side like Facebook and Pinterest and stuff that was our agreement when we teamed up on this in the beginning but I want to start off this video first. Um, as you can see here, I have this picture up. The best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. Now, as a quote from Lenin. Now, it's been obvious, especially over the last year and a half, two years, um, that uh, the movement, the flat earth movement, definitely 100% has government agents, shills, satanic uh, followers, whatever you want to call them. I mean, they probably come from all walks of life within that um, side of society. So, you know, they're, they're probably, if you're calling one a shill, they might actually be a follower of the satanic church and they're just doing some, like uh, you'd see churchgoers going out and spreading the word of uh, Jesus and God you would see the Satanists probably take part and enjoy coming on and disrupting the truth. Um, saying that, I, I find it's all wrapped together. I really have come, come to a point where I look at it all. I don't care if it's, it's fractioned off or there's two evils out there and they are fighting each other plus fighting us. To me, there's just, you know, I wrap it all into one evil out there. Anything that is causing the false flags that uses this symbology that we see with the numerology and um, hand gestures and, and symbols is all a part of that system. Now, if you're not researched enough to understand the symbology, the numerology they use, then I advise that you go do that because um, it's quite apparent to people that do research that, that these numbers are used, like the number 33, well used, well documented. Uh, the number 666, I mean, uh, it's it's actually uh, you know quite popular in culture I mean we see it and associate it with Satan all the time you know there's been music made about it so to sit there and be ignorant about this stuff is I, I don't even know what to say to people like that I think the only explanation is that they actually do know and they're just doing exactly this they're causing you know they're trying to be that controlled opposition which comes in many forms there's some of them that will probably be given more truth to give out so that they become more credible or some that give out half truths or minimal truths or just people that come in to um, cause grief drama because those are things when we look at the propaganda isn't a lot of the propaganda just drama on tv and a lot of these tv shows capture the audience over drama i think one of the main psychological things they use against society is drama is small issues stuff like that or um, resentment or they try to get under your skin and that I think is what um, is the agenda here in this video I'm going to get into from Glenn so I wanted to talk about that first as I start off and last year um, I did feel and I still feel to this day that there are certain people that are pretending to be flat earthers yet have different agendas and I'll stand beside that that's my opinion you guys do your own investigation the community isn't a hundred percent all flat earthers I'll tell you that right now you can tell because some of them don't know all their information some of them don't research which I find quite amazing because when you find out this uh, globe lie and you start to realize there's all this other truth out there I find that is like a fire under your ass to go out there and research and to then come back and make mistakes like the distance of the sun. I mean, that's, that's flat earth 101. You know, the mistakes I see, the slip ups I see some of these other people make aren't just innocent mistakes um, based on not understanding a certain, say, formula or, or um, situation or they went and I got caught once too I saw some footage and I didn't verify it good enough and I didn't know it actually came from a film instead of uh, being an actual real footage of um, reality so you know and I learned from that and I I've made um, uh, 
kind of rules I follow to make sure that I go and research everything to make sure that what I'm presenting, as far as I can tell, is from reality. But nonetheless, let's get into um, this video Glenn had to make last night. Now, it's going to be based on these comments I posted over on Orphan Red's uh, channel. I also been posting comments on a new uh, up and coming channel, um, Daphne. Uh, at first, I I thought she was great. Uh, had a little trouble with you know she was posting you know five or more videos within an hour or two hours, and they're all like five minutes long. When she should just sit back and do one full one, in my opinion. But that's you know everybody has their way of making videos. But what caught my attention is that first you know brand new channel. Uh, there is Mark Sargent and I've noticed in the past especially last year with small channels these new small channels we never hear of and they come out of nowhere is that um, some of them I never see Mark post ever on what I consider to be more real people like myself but then um, what I've noticed though anybody that Mark has posted on has like Orphan Red last year turned into a big show and I'm going to show you some stuff uh, after Glenn's uh, little rant here um, about Mark Sargent and Orphan Red that you guys should know um, because it's it's not hard to find out that we're dealing with people that I believe um, you know there's a lot of people that strive to be actors in life I find and a lot of them fail and I believe the ones that do fail this is they become the uh, crisis actors they become the agents that are used in these uh, governmental operations of controlling the opposition so but you know that's something that I, I believe every person has to go research on their own but make no mistake there is definitely um, paid agents working against us in the flat earth community for and against it and the ones that are for it are usually leaving little breadcrumbs so that another agent can come in and discredit them by presenting the information wrong. But nonetheless, let's get started here. So he's just showing the comment right now. What's up? Earth Vancouver, making this little video for the Hub Brothers. The Hub Brothers. Flat Earth Hub, uh, searching for truth or touring for truth. And I'm just going to point out um, for how long Glenn's been around, you know, since last year when I've seen him enter into the Flat Earth movement. He came in um, aggressive and angry, attacked right away a lot of channels. Uh, what I noticed was it was all circumstantial stuff and it was all driven by hearsay and drama. He would get an email and, and then attack people on it and what I've noticed is no real research. And then plus here, you know, we've been around since last year before him and Todd actually stopped in there and he still doesn't under, or know the name of the tour that we had going last year uh, when we first got started with our channel and got really excited about getting out there and getting this message out and we'll talk about this more as, as he explains some of it because um, I have some um, information I want to share with you guys all that might or you guys might not know um, if you didn't follow our work last year especially in the beginning of the year but um, I just want to point out that he can't even get does he even know the name of the tour so this just shows you how much he actually was in my opinion paying attention but let's carry on well they didn't go very far uh, and really you can't really say they because really there's only one because see there's Todd and there's Tori I never met Tori personally I met Todd I've had Todd in my house uh, was just supposed to go meet him and have a coffee that's how it panned out but at that time I really didn't know because I mean I had death threats and the whole nine yards from YouTube so my I'm going to stop it just right there for a second. I want to interject with the death threat thing. Now, I've heard this from multiple channels. Um, and if they are getting, if he is getting a death threat for what little research he did and 
no groundbreaking uh, uh, information uh, to say that it is flat. Where is the death threats coming from? You know, like, was it him attacking these other channels? Because I attacked a few channels last year too, and I never received any death threats. Like, to me, right there, this death threat thing, to me, I think is part of the drama buildup. Um, a sympathy grab, if I may. But let's carry on. The thing was, I wanted to go meet them. I, I, I knew that they were traveling through Vancouver, headed to the East Coast. So I just wanted to, be, I just wanted to meet them, basically. My thing was, I wanted to verify to other people that I was from Vancouver, <coughs> I was living in Vancouver. So that was one of the main reasons why. So technically, I used them in a way to, to, to be able to, to prove that I'm here in Vancouver. Okay, so you heard it from him, and in a way used us, right? You know, and this this would fit with the fact he doesn't even really know the name of the tour, um, and it was hitching for truth, by the way. So both are the three um, names he said there earlier were all three wrong. But let's continue. And at the time, I wanted to see if Orphan Red was from here. Uh, since then, I found out that Orphan Red is here. Uh, I know she's here. And uh, I don't have any beef with her. But yeah, and that's one thing I researched too. I was actually planning uh, that first leg to be there as well. But unfortunately, uh, a few days prior to us planning to leave, I had injured my back um, at the fireplace store I was working at. And uh, I was having problems finding someone to babysit my dog. But let's carry on. I mean, those are life things. But... Um, um, yeah, let's carry on here. Oh, last night I looked through Orphan Red's comments. Uh, my wife's a big fan of Orphan Red. She likes watching her videos. And I uh, found some comments from, uh, from Tori. I know it was Tori because it wasn't Todd. Uh, and they weren't really good. They were, you know, like he was picking on her. So. And you know what? Yeah, he's right. And I'm not picking on her though. I'm pointing out to other people that are going to be coming across that uh, video that both Orphan Red and Mark Sargent and a few others, in my opinion, um, are well known to be actors or, or you know, chills or agents or what have you. Um, and it does get under my skin to still see them within the community so blatantly and I like to make sure that I'm leaving comments to expose them to others because I've done my research. I researched her from Red and I actually found out she doesn't go to the University of Uni or, uh, Vancouver, that she actually works for a studio there, you know, so that, you know, they put on, um, uh, I think, training actresses and stuff like that. I didn't research deeply into what the business was all about, but I did find out that she did lie about being in university. And to me, one lie, just like we see with NASA, leads to a whole bunch of lies. If someone's going to lie, they're going to lie 95% of the time. So um, I want to point that out. But where is it his business to get involved with this is where this escalates. So it's, it's I, I really don't see where Glenn or his wife had any business coming in on that. And if they are going to sit there and defend Orphan Red, only shows me they've done zero research. And the fact that, you know, we've come a year over a year now, and look at Glenn. Glenn's gone, you know, and he's um, siding with Jed and uh, all these people that we know are nothing but agents on that side. I mean, either Glenn's an agent himself, um, a very poor actor in, in one way, I'm very troubled too. He's very angry, and you, like last year, I noticed, and you could check in this unless you took on the videos. But he's carving in his arm Illuminati, you know. And look at here, like on his channel now, look at this picture of the all-seeing eye, you know, and it's got the little pyramid in there. This stuff should be hallmarks to me. I, I don't take any truth or seriously, or even take that person seriously, like they're even giving truth, when I see the symbology. And if you, if you don't understand the all-seeing eye and stuff like that, then you need to go research. I mean, this is very apparent. This should be true through 101 stuff. And Flat Earth is at the very fringe. So in a way, uh, even for myself, I've been researching a lot of it so that 
I understand this stuff, you know, and it's great to understand because, you, you know, when you do, I would never use the all-seeing eye as my avatar or anything that symbolizes me with their movement. But anyway, um, let's continue on here. By the time I got to the comment, Orphan Red had already responded, and wow, Orphan, you really gave him a good bitch slap in the head. I like that. Uh, I like... Okay, let's quickly take a look at this. So this is the video. I posted, uh, you are still here. Damn shills don't leave when exposed. And then she comes back and this is what she says. Are you still taking money from people to fund your fake flat earth road trip? You know, and we're going to get into this because I'll tell you guys all about that. But, you know, this is quite interesting. That's, that's her reply to come and attack us on our one of the few channels that go out and try to bring this out to the public whereas you know majority of the channels where they do just like and I do it too is make videos and there's nothing wrong with that I'm not saying everybody has to go out there but at least we attempted to do something but to be and used against us and I'm going to explain this in detail too we there's uh, was zero money raised by the way zero to this date still zero we don't it was never a main goal of ours we never did push it um, and actually I lost a, a bunch of money through it, but we'll, we'll talk to the, about that as we get to it. And then, um, so I go, good one. Guess all the videos we posted are fake too. Um, damn are you ignorant, which she is. Uh, not to worry. I did some digging on her, which I did. And she was lying about being a student at the, univers or the University of Vancouver. And she worked at a studio. And this, this is where I uncovered her last year. And I quickly backed away because I was... Actually, I did like Orphan Red until I found out that she was lying. And then the whole Mark and her and that whole scandal, the shenanigans in the room happened. And that, to me, was just blatant. That's, that's them now setting up um, the outlook to Flat Earthers. You know, if they can taint the water and then people coming in researching Flat Earth sees that, they're going to back right off going, this is nothing but bullshit. So... And there's, he comes in about the uh, thumbs up, you know, about telling me. See, he's taking a completely weird, you know, from learning about Flat Earth, and he pro proclaims to be with the Lord, and then completely about faces. He's, he's got the Illuminati symbology on his channel. He carved it in his arm, and he's changed to be a globe, back to a globe believer with no real evidence, but he says from emails. So, and then I come back with a comment on Glenn, Oh yeah, Glenn. She sure did tell me. Guess you are going to say it was a fake Todd that visited you. Um, and this is all before his video he just made. I question now if your brother actually died because what happened was is Todd had was rushed out quickly on Monday morning, dropped off at the bus because of uh, his brother dying. Now if that's true or not, I'm not sure. He sent me an email, but I'm not going to open up a video that actually is named. I'll show you the name of the video. If this is his brother's um, uh, a video of his brother's uh, death certificate why it would be named a Chinese name on it is a little freaky to me and I'm not going to open it because I think there's could be a virus in it um, or yeah so you guys I'll, I'll post a link to this video so you can come and read through this and then I get attacked by a princess skeptic which is actually Glenn's wife and uh, so on and so forth so uh, and he'll claim that I deleted the comment or something, but they're all still sitting here. So I just will cover that before he says it here. Let's go listen to some more. That, that was awesome. So I decided to leave a little comment to say, you know, thumbs up, good job, or whatever I said. And then the next day I went to work today and I come home from work and my wife's like, whoa, she says, you got to. You gotta go check those comments. She's like, uh, Todd, or Todd or Tori, one of them left a comment, and it's not good. So I went and checked. He deleted his comment, but my wife screenshot it. It'll be up after. And I didn't delete it. Still sitting there, and you guys can go verify that. So, this here is the drama. You know, these actors, actresses, and I believe Glenn is, because either that or he's extremely, extremely fucked up in the head. Um, because his actions over the last year and a half are really um, interesting to say the least um, it would like 
don't get this guy. At first, you know, he was all aggressive. I even sent him messages last year when he first started. I said, you know, you should cool it, man. You, you come right out. No one even, you got a small channel and you're accusing, you know, at the time, Patricia and, and all of them. Uh, which, you know, over the year with Antonio's information, uh, you know, saying that he's seen the paychecks from Patricia, like, and I'll show you something with Patricia too. Um, I thought, you know, people one way, they their personalities come, can win you over, but don't let that guide you that um, their information is coming to you on truth, like fully on a truthful platter. I'm not sure what's going on, you know, what these people's motives are, but they're not here for the flat earth. They're here to spin your wheels, waste your time. Um, you know, if I spent all my time watching everybody's, like all these uh, debates, you know, eight hour uh, debates and their shows and going over the same material over and over and over and over again with, you know, little tiny bits of new refreshing stuff coming in maybe once every other month where would I be, you know, uh, I've taken all that time instead of wasting it away uh, in endless discussions about nothing, well not nothing, but they're just rehashing the same thing over and over again. Um, I've gone to the research and I've researched things in depthly, I'm still researching, I'm not stopping and um, as I find new stuff I'm always trying to present it to our channel so other people can pick up there. Uh, I'm not the best presenter I could probably do a better job at it, but I'm just, I'm so geared to researching more. I don't want to spend and waste a lot of time trying to make this fancy looking video um, for you, you know, people to look at that truth. Um, but nonetheless, uh, let's carry on here. Just wanted to point out he's lying about the comment being deleted because I even checked today. It's still there. So um, as of making this video, as I proved right there, the comment is there. In this video. Uh, he deleted it. Why he deleted it, I don't know. Maybe he felt bad. But he left a comment and he fucking hit me somewhere that I never thought he would ever go. You know, ever. Of all the things. You could you could have, you, you had a whole hand you could have played. That's the card you played. And it was like, you fucking boot me in the nuts. He tried to say that, one, I'm a paid shill. And that's why I had to get Todd out of my house because I was going to, I was going to blow my cover. So he made an accusation today that my brother ain't dead. And that's so fucking ridiculous, dude. Like, honestly, like I just proved to Todd and Tori. I just sent them a fucking email. I downloaded my, bro my brother's fucking death certificate off of fucking Google because it's up there with his memorial. And I emailed it to Todd and Tori. Now, if they want to put it public, go ahead, fuck ahead. But I'm not, because I do have my family that, that watch me sometimes on YouTube. And I don't feel that I have to put them through that and put, a, put my brother in a fucking YouTube video. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right here. And I have to go tape the my um, uh, email. I'll take a little quick shot to uh, show you guys right here and then we'll continue on with this video. So I did send it to them for proof. They can fucking read it or what they want to do. I really don't give a shit. Uh, if I ever seen either one of them again, especially the one that wrote that email, you know what I'll do to you. So you know where I live. If you're any kind of a fucking man, you'd come but come to my fucking door and say that to me. But I know you won't. I know you fucking won't. And make sure if you do come, you come after 5 o'clock because I go to work. So you don't have to fucking wait for me too long. Uh, and there, uh, you know, I'm just going to point out. This is, you know, in a way a threat, right? And... Being with the Lord, I'm not going to ever pick up on a threat like that anyway. Although, um, as a man, you know, you wanted to, you know, stand up for stuff like that. So, it, it really is a perplexing thing to be called out on a YouTube video. And as the bigger man, as I always try to be, I'm not going to follow through with doing anything towards this gentleman. But I'm going to point out that he's definitely got some issues 
um, right away he's taking this as a personal attack towards him and blowing up a portion of everything that happened on the Orphan Red thing when he's the one who injected himself into that in the first place. To me, um, I did not uh, intend to uh, go and attack Glenn, although I've mentioned it on my streams to him already that I'm disappointed with his actions and his lack of research, which has led him right back into um, believing in the globe, if he was being honest. Or he's a shill, and it was his full intention to uh, come out and do the flip-flop. But I'll let you guys decide. I mean, I'm not here to tell you guys what to think. I just want to clear the air, give you guys at least my side of the story, so you understand. So being threatened here um, is a very shallow thing to do. The comment I made, I was just... One little thing I question now, and I do question now, I'm being honest as I am trying to be with everybody since I found out about, about Flat Earth, there's a, a greater importance to me about being completely honest. Because you do realize the Lord is, is here, He created the place. This is where within the creation and we have our Creator. And my outlook to the Creator from the Ten Commandments, which I take true, is to not lie you know and i'm not going to cause harm to anybody else even if they are my enemy i am not going to do that i'm not going to fall to these tricks and games of the evil system because that's what it is it's a test remember this you know we only live for 70 years or so or 80 90 some people over 100 right but the thing is is that this world in my opinion and it's it states right in the bible and it's been brought up that satan takes jesus to the mountaintop and offers all the kingdoms of the world this is Satan's realm. Guess, guess who runs the place? So guess how the, the world's going to work. No wonder we are waking up and looking around and seeing that at every turn, every logo, every almost every musician, artist, every movie, it, is, it screams to you once you wake up. You can see the indoctrination. You can see the propaganda and you can see the evil. And to me, this is nothing either... He's fallen to that evil or again he's paid to to do this and he comes already with that you know blackened heart in my opinion so um, and it, it only proves itself with his um, his actions here that he wants to come out and fight right away you know that's not intelligence that's ignorance see that I'd love to see that uh, I find it interesting that only Tory sits home he wanted this big fucking tour he's the one that talked to todd into it and only todd's the one that hits the fucking road that's it he sits back at the fucking command center with his little fucking laptop doing fucking free wi getting free wi-fi wherever he can get it and got to take care of his dog well it was your fucking tour to begin with and you started out you were working with andrea sensi like that's that's if anybody's a paid fucking shill in this it's you and I can honestly say that I've never taken anything. Okay, so um, Todd will, and if he sees this, and he can put up his own little video, but I'm pretty sure he's going to agree with me because I never forced or convinced Todd to do the tour. We both came up with the tour. Actually, everything we've done has been a, always a joint effort. We've talked extensively together, obviously. We were working together you know side by side in the same room there making videos when we first got started our channel and we came up with the tour because we were get, feeling frustrated and we felt especially last year at the beginning of last year that um, it being so fresh too like it was around for about a year but it, it was gaining a lot of ground uh, it felt like the next natural move was to take it out to the public and I had explained earlier there that uh, right before we were going to get going there, which he wanted to start a little bit earlier, so we were, we actually had two different dates in mind, um, but that's here nor there. Uh, but I did injure my back, which made it impossible for me to do that first leg, and he actually had some friends in on Vancouver Island that he wanted to visit anyway on the way, so it was copacetic between the both of us that he does that first and, and also test the waters uh, to see if this tour is going to be even 
feasible in a sense. Are, is it going to do what we think it's going to do? Uh, are we going to be able to, you know, get into these churches and, you know, just get this information? So, and w he documented it all. You guys can go watch the, the videos. And I think um, there's at least 15 or so on this channel. You can go back and look at uh, the tour up to a point. And there's quite a bit of distance traveled, uh, about a thousand kilometers. So that's not, okay. it wasn't a short trip uh, by any means. And uh, since, you know, and sit or he makes a claim that I just sit back and at a control center and take it easy no it's I've, my whole life has changed and as people know when you wake up um, the world's not the same place anymore my goals and aspirations of you know getting real estate and um, you know I just moved to a new city out here in BC from a bad relationship and had lost my business with my family a few years prior so financially not the best shape but with flat earth it's a truth and to me the money system anyway the monetary system after looking at it and researching it it's it, I, I don't care for it anymore it, money is can be taken away from us in a day if they drop the system uh, if you saved all this money all your life just for the system to shut the game to to turn it off and then change its rules all that work was for nothing so think about that when it comes to money money is something that's a, a, a mental aptitude that you give it belief you know you give it value whereas to me after reading into the passages of the Bible the Lord looks for our works so as long as we are showing our work so I've looked for new avenues since that point the tour might not have um, went off as the way we thought we want to go right across Canada do a 5,000 6,000 kilometer leg and then back again and Todd actually is wants to start this break back up after the winter now um, I don't think it is as feasible after what we've seen from his test trial there going to the island and back it wasn't hidden as many people and as we had thought it would or do what it we thought it would so and then plus the realization more of you know our governments being as evil as they are um, I really have my doubts especially once we get closer to our capital which is a higher population in the East Coast that the police there will not just come and round us up um, so I expressed my fears with him about that and that we should take a different direction and try to work other avenues not just YouTube but look at other social media outlets and maybe work through them more try to get into our friends more try to work it out more that way a little bit of a safer route because if we're put into jail we can't spread the word so we have to uh, you know make sure that we're doing the Lord's job by spreading the word you know these are things you learn along the ways we make plans you know we did uh, uh, open the door for people to help us out and I have to say there is only one person that came forward and I'll remember this because it was only one person it was Hidden Mountain you can go check out her channel awesome person she lives out here in BC um, her husband isn't on flat earth or at, le at least the last time I talked to her he wasn't but she was going to um, devote some of the sales of her art to our tour and uh, it never transpired like that I'm not sure if anything got sold or whatever but uh, also the tour only went a few months um, before uh, we decided not to follow through with the rest of Canada and Todd wanted to replan actually with you know this next year if that happens or not I'm not going to put words in his mouth because he might have changed his mind which we are all allowed to do depending on what situations are going on you know it's like you know you had full intentions of walking into uh, the World Trade Center on 9-11 that morning uh, but when you see a plane hit, are you going to still walk into that World Trade Center? You know, like new information changes your mind. So I am not going to sit here and feel like uh, we did anything wrong with trying to do the right thing. And if it didn't pan out, didn't pan out the way we thought, then hey, it didn't. But as far as anybody making allegations that we took any kind of money, I'll tell you to this day, to this very day, no one's sent us any money. Uh, nothing's been made from this I don't even monetize the channel 
and actually I've uh, relinquished all my idea in that of learning of that corrupt system with our government because I'm not going to be a part of it. So I don't even have, I've dropped my bank accounts, everything is gone. I'm now just me working with what I have in my pocket on my ability and uh, that's the way it works now. But nonetheless, let's continue on here. From anybody on fucking YouTube, can you can you guys say that? Because I've never taken a fucking nickel from nobody. When I did mention to uh, mindfulness, when my brother fucking passed, I said, fucking man, I'm just fucking strapped. I said, I'm fucking, I, I can't make a video. I said, I'm, I'm done for a couple of weeks. He said, if you need any money, let me know. I can send you a couple hundred. I said, no, man. I said, that's great. And I got emails to prove it. I said, that's great. I said, I'm fucking broke emotionally, not financially. And that was great. I appreciated that he offered that in case if I did need it. But I didn't need it. And I didn't take it. But Todd and Tori, they got their hands out constantly. And where did they go? They're still in BC. They never left BC. They tried to blame it on the election. They tried to everything. And I told Todd straight up that I don't think he should continue on by himself. I truly didn't. I, I did. I told him that. And he said, no, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Well, where are they now? You, you people that have given these people money, you might want to ask yourself. And right now, <clears throat> if uh, I'm lying, I want to ever gave us money, which I know no one has, just to prove the point. Just put a comment below and prove it, like put your know, receipt or whatever, how you sent us the money. Because if you did, it, I didn't know about it. And uh, Todd did start a GoFund thing, which I don't think, he put five bucks in it and that's all it got was his own five bucks that he wanted to start it off with. Um, I told him, you know, I, I didn't really agree with GoFundMe. Uh, we tried to actually uh, put up um, a Kickstarter for to do a documentary, you know. We didn't know. I mean, I was just thinking, you know, if we're out there hitchhiking across Canada, that obviously we can't be, it'll be, um, we don't have a steady job there paying our way. So, but I know that we would have did all right because we can always find, there's always ways to find work and, and stuff like that. So I wasn't too concerned. And, um, you know, our forefathers used to live in the brush and build houses on logs and that. So, I, you know, to me, I'm not concerned uh, with the creature conference of modern age. I, and I don't think Todd was either. And, uh, yeah, but this is garbage. These are nothing but uh, accusations, false accusations. And uh, where he comes with that we have our hands out all the time, would, would you guys ever see our channel? Always constantly putting our hand out for donations? or to fund a patron or something like that. Like, this is, to me, uh, that they're trying to attack us on our tour is very low. That tour was the best intention, and actually, one thing it did spark there, I forget her name now, it's, it was last year, but her and her husband went and sold their house. They bought an RV, uh, got away from anything, you know, that held them back, and now we're traveling the United States doing exactly what we had set out to do. Um, and being that they were able to, you know, they had a house and that, they were able to fund theirs way more, you know, with an RV and everything else to make it more feasible so that they weren't going to run into the financial problems that we did. Not to say that we want, you know, it was because we didn't get any money that it all fell apart. There was a lot of reasons why that tour wasn't going to work for us. Um, in our situation but it did spark other people to do the same which it, in my opinion it then it was worth it because it is still getting the truth out to people that's all that matters all this other garbage this drama is just that it's drama and I swear they're these are like acting classes thing they're putting on roles for us you know and especially Glenn Glenn is such a, a troubled man or he's or he's uh, a really good um, aggressive actor like this because that's the role he takes but I don't know I, I really can't tell I didn't see or meet him Todd did and um, uh, you know Todd has his reservations said he talked a lot controlled the situation a lot you know when it came down to conversations and uh, you know constantly about the um, other channels out there the drama whereas Todd 
the I might be a little bit more about talking about the drama. Todd definitely doesn't want to talk about the drama. Todd just wanted to stick with the facts. Um, he, he, I remember even in the beginning, I would try to talk to him about a few things. He's like, no, I don't want to. That's, that has nothing to do with the flat earth. That's just drama. So, um, yeah, just wanted to bring that up. Uh, Glenn just is way off base with, he, with what he's saying. A lot of false allegations here. So I want to really bring this to your attention so you understand. And understand that we have not come into flat earth for any kind of, for the money it's never there is no money here to be honest i mean it's the actual reversal i want to get away from the money because it's evil and uh that's where i stand and ask them what are they doing with it and where are they going it, it, it's almost as if they're uh, you're you're funding them for a, a fucking camping trip because they ain't exposing nothing they're playing fucking walt disney movies and telling us they're they're made from the devil well what did he do? Who fucking cares? What the fuck? Okay, and I take great offense over that for the fact that I've well documented and a lot of people know that Disney is connected with this. Where do you think all the propaganda comes from? I mean, what, you think the government went and started a, a new studio to put out propaganda? That would be too obvious. And you can see where the government went in and has been uh, helping Disney throughout his entire career. And, you know, I've shown at Pearl Harbor, um, it is well documented that the government went into Hollywood and out of all the studios, they went to Disney and turned Disney Studio into a propaganda machine. It's well documented. And like I say, go look for the document that says that they converted back. There isn't one. It's been since they've turned that studio into a propaganda machine, it's stayed that way. That's why we see all the original NASA footage all the way up into the mid-70s come with credits from the Disney studio because this Disney was handling all the animation for um, NASA in their early days. And I, I still think they are. They just don't put their tag at the back of the video anymore like they used to. But let's continue on. Um, oh, uh, just, you know, be mindful that it's his lack of research right here. He's, he's showing it because he has no, he doesn't care about that when that's extremely important to understand the truths of the world is to understand where the lies are. And Disney is a huge part of that. For him to dismiss it like that is, is ignorant. What does that got to do with the shape of the earth? I already said that to him. Oh, it's all connected. Well, maybe it is, but it, so is the fucking hamster wheel that you're running on. So either way they want to look at it, they might be touring for truth, but where are they touring? BC? Because they never left BC yet. So as far as I'm concerned, they're just fucking touring for your cash. Uh, I've been nothing but good to both of them. I fucking promoted their, on, I promoted their channel. I promoted their tour all throughout the whole fucking time. I mentioned their name lots, lots of times. I had them on my fucking show and I had Coast to Coast and Beyond. I, I, I did whatever I could do for them. What uh, garbage. He, he's mentioned us a few times and he usually got the information wrong because he doesn't research, remember, or even care to remember any of this, as you just heard about his little rant there about Disney. I have to say I was quite disappointed during that time um, how, how many mistakes he made, even when he was talking when Todd got on live from Banff when he made it. Uh, and he actually went into Alberta, so he's wrong about that. He, Todd went as far as Canmore, which is well within a couple of hours within Alberta. And then that's where he turned around. So it wasn't just BC. And Todd never raised any funds on site, nor did we through our um, donation, which is the only place that we had a spot for people that would, you know, want to donate, was on our website, a little tiny donation um, uh, image at the bottom. And it was not intrusive. It was at the bottom of our website. And... It gained nothing, probably because we didn't promote it. So, you know, we don't come out on every video and say, hey, hit our, hit our website and give us some money, right? But then, then again, this is him just attacking with empty threats and allegations and assumptions. So let's continue on here. Whatever I could do, that I could do. Uh, I got a hold of people that were in Montreal, people that were in Toronto. I was trying to set up so that as they were going along, not to give them cash, but to give them a place to stay and fucking welcome them and maybe meet up and do a video with them. 
and uh, just again I want to mention that you know he, him saying you know this he, he can't get the name of the tour right how did he care about to even do all this work you know if someone's going to help you out they, they would at least get the name of the tour right right you would think I mean that shows a level of interest in my opinion but there is absolutely no interest as we can tell because he can't even get the damn name right of the tour and you know to me that's always been a pet peeve about this you know I just want to bring that out again sorry because uh, I knew people that were in Toronto, I knew people that were in Montreal, I knew people that were in Quebec, and my whole fucking family's from New Brunswick. So if they would have made it to New Brunswick, they would have had a place to stay at all. I've done nothing but try to help them. But today, uh, I look on or I look on YouTube, and he fucking deletes the comment. Like you know, he deleted the comment because either he had a guilty conscience of maybe I shouldn't have said that, or. He just didn't want people to see it. Okay, and let's just do it once again, if you missed it before. Just to, you know, show how blatant of a liar Glenn is. So this is the talk comment he's talking about. It's still there. Still replied to by his wife. I even have additional comments there. So... I'll post the link to this video. You can go look yourself. I'm not going to delete it. If this comment disappears, we have proof through my video it was here. Uh, it would have to have been deleted by Orphan Red. So I'm just letting you guys see that. He's completely lying there. And I'm not sure why he would lie about that when it's still there. And either way, that's a low card because that completely completely was bullshit and i just proved it to you todd and tori i just sent you my brother's fucking info which i don't have to send to anybody i don't i could just sit back like fucking tim osmond and say fuck you you're a piece of shit but i actually wanted to prove to you that you are a piece of shit and that both of you are a piece of shit and if i ever see either one of you again you'll get a fucking work boot across your forehead okay so you know <clears throat> Really, I'm not going to draw this out and play the rest of this video because I've had a, pretty much enough of, of his just aggressive type attack here, uh, which it's all been brought on by him interjecting into um, me exposing Orphan Red or continuing, and I will continue to expose these people. On our shirt here, by the way, it says, uh, Porn Kills Love. Um, a lot of stuff you'll see, especially with the females in our community, uh, they're not saying them all, so don't, I don't want to see an onslaught of feminist attack on me because it's not about that, but you'll be able to tell in my opinion because they're going to be playing roles. So they're, they're acting. This is a, one thing I'm going to show here too uh, about the acting part. So last year we saw that video of Shenanigans where it was our, um, released by her. Uh, about uh, her, Mark, and Molly in a room after their uh, Flat Earth meetup in Seattle. So that was uh, that did a lot of damage, in my opinion, for anybody coming in and taking a look at Flat Earth. It's, I'm serious about this because it's a serious topic. Uh, I listened to uh, Big Dread the other night, and you know his opinion about um, you know being not always serious and you know bringing in some laughter to make it um, more entertaining I guess or just to make light of it a bit maybe because it is it's hard information to take on you gotta sometimes it's like when you hurt yourself you not you don't go into like a a, um, a crying fit or whatever you go and start laughing because you just it's like your emotions are on override or whatever or it's just a way to deal with it now that's granted and um, you know, to, to make light of something is fine, but we also got, or we should also take in consideration, though, this is an extremely important thing. When, to me, it is anyway. I, it's my entire life. Our, our world has been uh, hidden from us, our true world, and when you find it, it, it's a very serious subject, you know, and I still, you know, being deceived that much, you, now you know that 
it, you were deceived that you can be deceived again so I want to take every step with solid research right um, but I also through my research have realized that the government has invested into controlling this opposition controlling the flat earth movement and um, there's lots of information about that it's well documented NSA spends quite a bit of money into it same with our CSIS up here, you know, Britain's into it, and all the countries are. And what they do is actually will use um, agents from other countries to get around their own laws, except for, you know, back in 2013, a lot of our laws have changed that we didn't realize uh, under our freedom of speech and that, that they can actually come out and legally uh, use propaganda, our propaganda against us. You know, this is now something that is allowed by the government so you, you think they're not going to be out here hiring people to come into this or the latest stories about Soros hiring spending money on these uh, movements on the United States against Trump right those are paid protests in a way and then there's just people that will follow because they got nothing better to do or they they start believing the jargon right because there is some sometimes it's like um, fishing they put a little bit of bait on the end of the hook the bait is the truth, the hook is still that lie, right? So you gotta be very careful and take everything with discernment. And like, for example, Orphan Red, there she is, you know, why did she create an IMDB account, which is, this is for actresses, right? And there she has her, the, the film listed. You know, um, not only that, look at Mark Sargent, he's one and created his own page too, you know, in all of his episodes. He's, you know, these guys, these people are actors and actresses, you know, why is Patricia listed as well? Or why is, uh, oh, I forget her name, because um, I don't watch her stuff. I found her right away. She was one of the first I knew right away was an uh, actress or a paid shill. Um, and plus them and their Pac-Man thing. And uh, I tell you, man, it is so hard finding this truth and then finding out there's a whole bunch of people still working against you right in plain sight, right? Um, and the shenanigans, you know, they even list that, but they uh, don't have an image up there yet for it, but you can probably find it out there still somewhere. I do have a copy um, saved on my backup drive where I put all the evidence I find. So that way um, I always have it to, in case people delete stuff off the um, YouTube. Because to me, you got to get it quick, especially if once you go to reveal some evidence. I've already noticed that we released some uh, footage. We got some raw footage of a high altitude balloon done by a Quebec um, uh, aerospace joint effort thing. And then we got the video pretty quick, but right after we posted it, they went and took down that video, added curvature, and then reposted it, which was quite interesting, quite telling. Um, but in, anyway, just going uh, on a little bit of a squirreling there about uh, saving evidence but this was very damning in my opinion and also also very revealing this is where i started to really wake up to um, the fact that there's definitely a good amount of money spent by the government to attack flat earth right now i mean we had the president obama in the united states say it four different times so, you know, it's not far to think that, uh, or it's not uh, um, not a question if we have paid shills. It's just who are they? Which ones are they? You know, uh, I want to show you quickly some. So, if we go look up uh, Orphan Red in Google, I want to show you something. Always at the bottom of your Google, that gives searches related to Orphan Red. So if we look through here, look at that. Related is Patricia Steer and Mark Sargent, you know. And you could do the same with these people too. You, what you do is you just go look them up. And you can also ch check out other interests that Google would see that is uh, related to that subject, right? So very revealing stuff, in my opinion. We should all, you know, um, be leery of the person that's providing the information you now you know for mark he's never changed his stance you know he's made his clues made a book and is in this uh you know 
game world type um, rea- like that's he believes it's like a game world you know like he's never changed that and he never researched it as more and that's how you could tell these guys have a script and they run with it so but I'll leave it at that you guys decide yeah.